Ben, table for one. <laughs> hey, car's outside. Try not to scratch it. Yeah. You tell me this is the best you could do for a best man? Hey, this is your new Uncle Hank you're talking about here. Are you telling me this is the best you can do for an uncle? <laughs> <laughs> Laugh all you can, boys. You're a day away from trading those tuxes in for ye old ball and chain. Yeah? Yeah. And, and all this is worth it? Yeah. Yeah. We'd do anything we had to to marry Teresa and Sheridan. You're damn straight. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm happy you two found the woman of your dreams. And I'm sure the wedding's gonna be incredible. Almost as incredible as I look in a tux. Who knows? Maybe I'll even meet the woman of my dreams at this marital marathon, huh? Hey, you go for it, buddy. We just want to get married and get the ceremony over with, yeah? yeah? We can't wait to be husbands to the two most beautiful women alive. Maybe someday fathers, huh? Oh, it's beautiful. It's perfect. <laughs> I'm so nice of Ethan's mother to let me have her wedding dress. You did a great job altering it, Abigail. Oh, thank you, Sheridan. I still need to make a few finishing touches, though. Will you excuse me while I get some pins? Okay. Sheridan. Thank you again for the advice that you gave me. But I think I will go to confession when I start taking birth control. And then I will stop it when Ethan and I can afford children. I'm sure things will work out perfectly for you and Ethan. Oh, Gwen, I'm glad you're here. Would you excuse me for a moment? Sure. sure. Thank you. I came as soon as you called. There's something we need to clear up. Yeah, listen, I, I know what you're going to say, and I don't blame you. You're angry at my mother and, and her part that she played in Alistair and Julian's plan to break you and Louise up, and, and you don't want me to be your maid of honor anymore. No, Gwen, it, It's that's... okay. I understand completely. 